Cool, and they also got that thing we talked about way back when, the twinnotations, using semant semantically mm. linked uh, annotations on each Twitter message. Well, they just actually announced um, recently, Twitter said that they, you can put like nearly unlimited metadata in it, that they can yeah. put all of this stuff. It was crazy. Well, they got their own geolocation thing going on now, too. Right. Sweet. Well, with like, I think they actually have check-ins now, I'm not sure. But no, I keep seeing, because I keep seeing uh, comparisons with Twitter versus Foursquare versus Gowala versus Brightkite. Yeah. yeah. It'll be interesting. Um... Cool. Yeah, I'll yeah. mention that with the next one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is my last one. This is not really a, a massive story, but just something that I really wanted to share, so you should definitely oh, check right, it out. That's your last one. Quickly talk about this one. Yeah. Um, Sweden is planning on banning cash in all their retail stores. <laughs> I love that. I love Man, that. It's, it's being prompted because apparently there's a growing problem of robbery. <laughs> but wouldn't that be cool if a government actually stepped in and said there is no cash allowed in, the, in our society anymore? Well, the very fact economy. that it's possible. Yeah, that I mean that they can actually say that that's possible is amazing. Well, who fucking who uses cash anymore? You use your credit card. The problem is you get you get charged if you use it too much a lot of the time. Mm. Oh, I just well, it's the, also the the shopkeepers get charged and all of that. I also find yeah, going down to the coast or yeah, away from the city that everyone is like all about cash. And I I know, don't carry cash on me. I yeah. just find it silly. I have no idea why all these electronic transactions carry so many fees when there is literally no human involved in the process. Yeah. It's all handled by computers. That's yeah, why it's just like electronic. Like, <laughs> like it's no money. shit. Yeah, it's infuriating. I mean, what's happening to the whole mobile transaction thing? Well, hopefully that should be going up. Like, I mean, that'd be it's cool. It's been like, kicking up for a while. Like, yeah, get the square going. Yeah, so I, that won't roll out either. That's, mm. that's stupid oh. as well. Like, well, see, I'd like just the mobile shops down sell. at the coast to, to actually have, like, Card. I had to go and drive. They don't to have FPOS. They don't have FPOS. It's just a cash machine. It's really at the annoying. Shop. At the muffin shop. <laughs> the muffin shop is a fantastic place you should visit if you ever find yourself in Browley in New South Wales. It can be found. <laughs> oh man, they better pay us for that ad. Well, Marin's the manager now. We better get muffins. Yes, we do. If we get free muffins for saying that, oh, that'd be so awesome. It is. Anyway, but yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be cool if they rolled that out um, just around different countries. Mm -hmm. Or even if Sweden did. Yeah, no, it'll it'll be good. I think we actually are moving towards yeah, that place. Yeah, cash. We, did, we can, yeah, just get rid of it. I mean, I, mean, I don't like it. I, I, I whenever I give I feel, money to you, I, I just do it online. I don't yeah. give you cash. Like, who wants cash? I mean, I even feel you, you take it to an analytical position. I feel primitive handing over these this yeah. piece of paper and these these bits of metal, and then rather you're thinking you're thinking they have value because we all have this delusional um, thing oh, that you know money has value. I think it becomes more Mexican delusional when it comes into just these numbers on the screen, though. True. And then that's where you start to realise why the whole financial system collapsed because but, they just have no point. But then it looks more and more like a game because it's just yeah, points. True. Come on, get the points, get the points on the screen, sweet. I'll work nine to five every single day of my life <laughs> to get more points on the screen. Damn it, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, talk about the space thing. Okay, space thing. <laughs> Check this out. This is cool. All it is is just a mashup that I found on Reddit again. Love Reddit. Where I did a cut and paste or like a, oh, what's the word? Panorama. Of space, <laughs> cut and paste uh, in in your browser, but you take away the Earth. So like you know how whenever you look at the sky, it's always the Earth's down there, and you kind of look in a pure three hundred and sixty degrees angle. Yeah. You check out this, and it's really been the first time I've ever actually seen space like this from where we are. You can actually see the Milky Way and see the center and see how it all actually pans together and works. Yeah. And the, like literally, I must have spent like a good hour looking at this site. It, it was just fantastic. Like you said, you looked at it as well. And yeah. With music playing in the background. Yeah, it's play, just, play something epic in the background. It is just, just yeah. fantastic. And yeah, it, it really did mesmerize me. And looking more at the, the, like, you know, talking about the singularity, talking about this stuff, this just really does make you realize that just a teensy dot. It's like, we've got to expand out and organize all of that matter and energy. Yeah. It's going to be fun. I still want to be like an, ex an eccentric astronomer when I'm older. Yeah. Like a dude with like a couple of telescopes that looks up at the sky and, you know, plots things. And, <laughs> Cause I mean, how how really, like... You look up and you can rarely see the Milky Way. Well, it's, we're in a crappy place. Like, yeah, any sort of light. Way. Yeah. Any sort of light pollution, you just can't see it. Yeah. But even looking at Milky Way, you can't have ever picture it. It's hard to get a perspective. I guess that's why I really like this thing, that it finally yeah. gave me that perspective cool. that, my God, that's actually out there. So you see it as beautiful, and then you right, get you back to the to logic of what it is, and then you get depressed. It's because like it's burning balls of gas. Because we're so, well, you know, insignificant, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, true. <laughs> We'll get out there. Just give us time. Come on, that's the we are becoming well, inanimate. Well, actually, oh, sort of. here's a good segue. Mm -hmm. um, I think now that space is becoming more privatized because uh, Obama's kind of you know the NASA they're cutting back. You know, yeah, the NASA project's pretty Pity. much being scrapped. 
but it means the shit. private industry is taking over now. And the company called SpaceX, which is run by this dude called... Was uh, he the computer game? Man. Dude, he started... He, ID. He's Elon Musk. That's it, yeah. Elon Musk. I'm pretty dead certain this for Elon Musk. <laughs> but um, he, he runs Tesla Motors. You know, the oh, electric snap. car with the heaps awesome thing. That's he also cool. runs um, yeah, Space SpaceX. He was one of the co-founders of PayPal. And he did something, Space City, I think it was called. No, Solar City. Wow. Which is like a, he installs solar systems everywhere. But anyway, which is... This guy is the bomb. Yeah, I look, after I read all that shit, I was like, I looked him up on Facebook and clicked like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as sad as that sounds. But um, yeah, they just launched their new rocket. Um, SpaceX launched their new rocket called the Falcon 9. And it, it went without a hitch. There's a great video online of it. And great. it did everything without a hitch. Like what first was and second stage. Just a, it was a new rocket. Just to get up that yeah, sweet? Just a testing thing. And sweet. Because they basically just want to commercialize a little. It, he was the inspiration space. for Tony Stark. Wow. Okay, that has just made me like him even more. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> what? So yeah, definitely sure, yeah. need to look up this guy more. He does Elon it. Musk. Mm. Oh, there's this actually this really really cool um uh, podcast weekly podcast called uh, Space Flight Now. Oh, this week in space. This week in space. Yeah, you should watch that. That's where um he That's has where it came from. yeah he's had interviews with this guy Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. He's not a good interviewer. Like it looks like he's just woken up and you know he's and fair he, enough. He's, he's boring to listen to, but the dude's done some <laughs> amazing stuff. Though. Yeah, dude, just listening off yeah. there that, that that is one like resume to be proud of. It's not well, not resume. Yeah, three like. Big ass like companies you pushing know. the limits of yeah just space cool. pushing the limits of really cool looking electric cars and, and solar for, like, yeah. energy like revolutionizing energy yeah industry. well and then also the web and also doing all that it's like oh no I've done the web now yeah, okay, yeah paper yeah <laughs> fuck dude he's cool he is anyway uh -huh. it's been a pretty epic week this has been what what's the date today what's the date uh, uh, June thirteenth. And episode yeah. 19. Episode 19. I'm Nathan Waters. I'm Tristan Grace. Catch you guys next week. Have fun. Leave some comments. Hey, and welcome to High 45, a discussion about the future impact of the six world and tech news. I'm Tristan Grace. I'm Nathan Waters. And this is High 45. We have a freaking awesome show today. <laughs> awesome show. I had to just say it because it's just great. But some of the cool <laughs> things we have. Um... Jeez. <laughs> um... <laughs> what? Nothing. Tristan's just playing porn to distract me. Um, don't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> God. Okay, let's redo it. It's <laughs> <laughs> going into the. <laughs> Can we keep going? No, we can't. You can't keep going now. You put porn in the shot. I, I, I had it right there just for you. Well, Dad actually done anything.